Can somebody give me a hi? Hello everyone. In this video you will see how I create a minimalist album cover with 3D balloon topography. Open Blender and position yourself on a top view, Z axis. Add a text and choose a topography. For a better rendering of our balloon effect I advise you to choose a very rounded topography. You can then write our text. We will enlarge our text and in the parameters. Extrude. We will increase the thickness of the text and accentuate the roundness with depth. When we are satisfied we will convert our text, convert to mesh. And then we will add a remesh with a value of 0.01 and add modifier. Be careful not to go too low otherwise Blender may crash. Then we will apply the modifier. In the object mode view we can see that the 3D shape of the text has been converted differently. Next we will place our text as we want it. With the L key I select all the points of my object and with G I move all the selected points and with S I can shrink it and R apply a rotation. Once our letters are placed we will prepare our camera view. We'll add a camera and set it up according to our rendering. When it's ready we'll work on our balloon effect. We will add a procedural effect name, cloth. Attention save your work here if you ask too much on some parameter blender can crash. You will to play with this parameter. Increase a little, quality steps. Activate, pressure, and custom volume and add values in, pressure, target volume, and, factor. These are the parameters that will influence and that we will have to adjust little by little to have the render that we want in cache. We'll set end to 10, which is our render frame count. Then further down we go to field weights and reduce the gravity to zero. All you have to do is launch the animation and stop on a frame you like. If you don't like the result, just go back and play with the previous settings. When we have found the frame we like we go to modifier of our object and apply the cloth effect. This will override our effect and we can then come and replace our letters as we wish. It's time to add a texture to our object. We go to shading and we add a material to our object. Then we go to world and change the background to black. We'll activate viewport shading, and then we'll add and adjust our light. Back on our object we will rework its texture by changing its color and setting the metallic roundness effect. If your object looks pixelated just add the subdivision surface effect in modifier. When it's okay for us in render properties, we'll activate ambient occlusion and scheme space reflections. Then to export our object in PNG on a transparent background simply in Film. Check the transparent box. Now all we have to do is export our render and go to Photoshop. We will open Photoshop with a square format. We will import our render and then use the shape tool to create a square. We'll use a clippy mask on our render to embed it in our square and then distort it to fit better. Back on our square shape we will double click on it to access the layer style and apply a bevel and a stem page, then an internal glow. This will give a thicker effect to our album. We will import a texture and give it a color density blend mode and with a brush rework our texture. We'll focus on the details and the addition of graphic elements to make up our cover.
Once our elements are placed, we will add another texture, a plastic one with a color density blend mode. A wear texture with a blend mode of color density, add. And a cardboard effect with a blend mode of inlay. We will be able to merge all our layers into one, then convert this layer into a dynamic object. By selecting this layer we will go to Filter and select Raw Camera Filters. Then we will be able to adjust the final rendering of our album cover as we wish. And there you have it, you know how I create a minimalist album cover with a 3D balloon topography. Have a nice day!